Okay, this is our condensing unit. It's a two-tone system. It's a heat pump system. We do not have a rain diverter over the roof to keep the water from crashing down causing premature failure of this. Okay. Our sealant around our electrical whip and our um, piping is, is lacking right here. And this is the right type of insulation, and those are the right type of and I think Schrader valve caps. But we do not have a rain diverter over the condensing unit. This system, two-ton system, operates on 410A. Okay. No longer manufactured in the United States, no longer legally imported in the United States. Yes, they do have stockpiles of it. They will be able to service it. Yes, they are building houses at these we speak. And they're putting these units, and as long as the system. You know, and, and it's perfectly legal and perfectly kosher, okay? Come in here, we see we got a heat pump system. See all those heat pump reversing valves? See that heat pump reversing valve and the, those pressure valves? No longer manufactured. If it's on the shelf, they can sell it. They're not making those anymore. See that compressor in there? That compressor in there? Bad English home inspection. Okay, they're no longer manufacturing those. If there's one on the shelf, they can sell you one. Now, you'll probably always be able to buy a fan motor, but anything that has to do with the 410 refrigerant is no longer manufactured. When this system, in the first 60 days, when this system is installed, they should have been registered with a Linux manufacturer and need a free extended warranty. If he's not registered with them, and I don't know what constitutes 60 days, maybe 60 days after your home warranty or something, you might be able to get some leniency there. But if it's not registered within the first 60 days, you do not get the extended warranty. All you have is the menu, all you have is the installer's warranty or the builder's warranty. And that little bit of warranty, and then once that runs out, that's all you got. And the installer's warranty usually only covers the installation. It doesn't actually cover the compressor operating. So you're going to be kind of, you know, out of luck with this. I have an air conditioning buddy. He tells me he does thousands of dollars, thousands upon thousands of dollars of work on that he bills his clients. And should have been unnecessarily. Okay, it should have been warranted work. But it wasn't because the system was not registered. So you need to do your homework. You need to do, perform your diligence. You need to find out whether you have the extended warranty or not. All the more reason to keep servicing the system. And this is another thing that I've noticed. This is expansion joint right here. Okay, see how loose that is? It's because the pad is leaning away from the house. Okay, so now we've got almost a two degree pitch on this. That's more because of compressors. They hold the oil. It's a closed system. The oil settles at the bottom and starts again as a scroll compressor. I get that. But the manufacturer believes that this should be at least 12 inches from the wall. The manufacturer believes that that should be sealed. The manufacturer believes that that should be level. That's what the manufacturer thinks. It is properly fused. But 410A, so we've got a leaning condensing unit that's too close to the wall. The refrigerant piping penetration into the exterior wall is lacking. And you need to find out whether you have a warranty on this or not. 